So the decision was made to call in a 250 ton crane with all this extra ballast, which brings us back to ballast and lifting capabilities. All his ballast was to lift five ton, and that was his equation. So we had to get the ballast off first, which is done by the crane and the Ainscroft people. Then the maintenance engineer and myself will go and do the handover of the crane where I do an official handover. He'll do an official breakdown of the crane and make it good and ready and safe for Ainscroft to lift with a mobile crane. Once we got that strapped up, he has no way of seeing what's there and you're now into the realms of what we call blind lifts where you're on a two-way radio and you're totally reliant upon your banksman giving you clear, concise instructions. He's operating the crane, if you like, by voice, although you're pulling the levers for him. The banksman then takes on the responsibility of a crane operator. But if you're giving good, clear, concise instructions and you have a good feel for the crane, you should have no fears or blind lifts. It's a bit disconcerting because you can't see what you're lifting. You can feel it when it comes, but when you take the weight, you can feel it. But blind lifts are, with a good banksman, they're okay. So what's the banksman going to be saying? Is he, is he going to be saying hoist down? Hoist yeah, down? well, yeah, he will do his start with. One he sees, he'll ask you to boom out or trolley out. In my case, mine is a saddle, uh, saddle jib. In this case, it was... Uh, the, the, it will be boom out, boom out, boom out, hold your height. Lower your block, lower your block. Hoist down, hoist down, hoist down, slow down, slow down. Speed two, speed one, speed one, speed one, stop. So it's given the driver plenty of time to slow his speed. You can't run everything in slow speed because you'll never get nothing done. So there has to be good instructions as to speed as well as direction. Uh, and then... The slinger will sling the load, make sure it's secure for lifting. They'll lift it six, eight, ten inches off the floor and do what we call a test lift to make sure all the chains, straps are secure, to make sure it's a nice even load. And all the time the crane driver will be sitting there not knowing what's going on and just in communication with the two-way radio. But once he's got the test lift, it'll be the opposite to it, bringing it down. It'll be hoist up speed one, nice and gentle, take the weight take it away and it's above head height then he can if he's confident that it's not going to bang into anything he can say okay take it away now and the crane operator will then see when it gets to the top of the jib he'll get his first sight of what he's actually picked up 